Hello everyone, this will be a video of my Wheelock MT24 LSM. Obviously it's a vertical strobe version of the MT, and this was the pretty common version from the 1990s. There was also another version I believe that had a sync strobe, that would be the SLM at the end of the model number. So that would be Wheelock MT24 SLM I believe. I actually happen to have an SLM strobe, but not an MT, that's actually a speaker strobe and I made a video of it a long time ago. But besides all that, I have an LSM right here. This is the typical strobe, it's non-syncable, and it came in a wide variety of candelas. They're fixed candela, by the way. I happen to have the 1575 version, which I'll get to in a bit. But anyways, let's take a look at the device. Obviously, this is what it would look like from the side, and let's bring it over to the front. As you can see, this is kind of what it would look like if you were looking at it straight on without these missing beauty plugs. Unfortunately, it came that way. Maybe later on in the video, I'll probably borrow the beauty plugs from my other MT for this, but I just wanted to show you that this for now. But anyways, this is what it would look like head on. If we look up here, we've got our strobe candela rating, 1575. You can see the strobe tube in there. So there's that. It's a pretty typical MT strobe from the time. And one interesting thing up here is an FCC warning. Hopefully you can read that. But in this case, it's actually on top of the device. More than likely the installer would read that. Now let's take a look on, at the back of the device. Now it's a pretty typical MT. As you can see here, I'll zoom in on the data sticker first. Actually, you can see a good majority of the back here. But anyways, we have our model number right here, MT24 LSM. This is, of course, a 24-volt DC version. This is just the range it would be operating on. We have 15 candela right here and 75 decibels. That's the typical decibel. That's the minimum, I would say. These things seem a lot louder. Okay, and we have our date code right here, which is the 15th week of 1997. So, sometime in April, this thing just celebrated its 19th birthday. That sounds a little corny, but it's kind of the truth. And we have our hookups right here, the terminals. Now, this right here is where you select your tones. That far dip switch to the left there, that one to the far left is where you set your volume, and these three here is are how you set your tones. I will be demonstrating all the di different tones in a different video, kind of like what I've been doing. So, you're going to hear just the standard horn tone on low volume for this demonstration. Now, let's get it over back. I kind of said it wrong. Now, to compare with the horizontal strobe version, I actually happen to, whoops, I actually happen to have the MT24 MCW, which is the multi-candela version. You've seen it in another video, or maybe a few of my other videos. Anyways, they're pretty much the same, ex except the strobe design. And, of course, they put fire lettering on the sides. So, basically, the only change it received in 2002 was the strobe design, and the fact that they, that they printed fire lettering on the sides. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. I'll even, I'll, I'll even show you the back. So, maybe a few differences, but the backs are pretty much the same, too. You got your dip switches right here, your terminals right here, and pretty much everything else. So, there we go. Okay, so now it's time to test the strobe of the device. Yes, I actually did go through with borrowing the uh, beauty plugs from the other MT. And that's this is pretty much how it would look without those missing beauty plugs. So, let's test the strobe. This We're already pretty much four minutes in. So, without further ado, let's go. Three, two, one. Now one thing you may notice about this somewhat older strobe is you can kind of hear the capacitor and it's actually flashing a little bit faster. But that is very bright by the way. Okay, 
Let's turn off the lights up here and in the room. Yeah, that is kind of bright, even in the dark. It is brighter in the dark. And that kind of made of a f funny noise. Now we're going to sound the horn of the device. Now because this is very loud, I'm only going to do a short blast, but you should get the idea. I'm going to be doing uh, electromechanical continuous. You know, that's the default tone, and you know, just for the sake of demonstrating that the horn works, I'm, that's all I'm going to do. So, let's do it. Okay, now let's test the horn and the strobe together. Again, this is going to be another sort of short blast because it's sort of loud. I actually did put a little bit of tape on here, you know, in case you notice it, just to mask down the volume a little bit. And hopefully so I don't blow your guys' ears out or damage the mic. So, here we go. Now for the finale of this video, what we're going to do is activate it with the BG-10L. You've probably seen this Pulse Station a lot, but I kind of have a reason for this. These two devices seem to go together because they're kind of from the same era. This one obviously being from the late 1990s, and this one, this Pulse Station here kind of being used throughout the 80s and 90s before the BG-12 was introduced. So, not too much else to explain. They're together, and let's finally pull it. I'm just gonna put my keys down, and... All right, let's uh, key it this time. Sorry for that short blast again, very loud device. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Wheelock MT24 LSM, and that'll be it. Thank you for watching.